Sharing his story of survival, he crawled for hours on a broken leg until he was finally rescued. Uh, Nicole has this story, and we have to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are pretty graphic. Hours before help arrived. Yeah, it feels like a weird dream. Joseph Oldendorf was in a fight for survival. Well, my tibia completely snapped off, so that's why it felt untethered, is that it was loose off of the, off of the leg. He was miles into a run on the remote trail west of Hood Canal when he slipped on ice around 5.45 p.m. Friday and broke his leg, leaving him stranded. I wasn't counting on my phone ever working. I just figured this is my only chance is I'm going to crawl all the way there. Joseph crawled until his knees were past raw. My ankle was in such shape that I couldn't, uh, I had to be facing chest down for it to not be flopping out of alignment. So I had to crawl on all fours um, and my knees, it's a rocky, snowy, dirty, wet trail. And after a while, my knees were just raw. So I had the idea to put my shoes over them so that I'd leave have some traction and a little bit of protection. After crawling nearly seven hours, Joseph said he was finally able to call 911 around 12.30 a.m., but couldn't let himself stop. I stopped to lay down to try to stay warm, thinking they might be there relatively soon, but uh, I was too, way too cold and there was no way I was going to be able to do it without moving. Did you fear at any point, I mean, if you didn't keep crawling, you would die? Yes. He's a lucky guy. Brennan firefighter Jerry Rule. Here, that's my black backpack there, rescue helmet. Was in the rescue group that made it to Joseph first around 4.20 a.m. after a four and a half mile hike. I wouldn't expect that he probably would have been found, to be honest with you, in my past experience. But after we evacuated him by helicopter, we only ran into two other individuals and they were not going in as far as we were. Makes you respect nature more. What an unbelievable story. So Joseph says he thought of his family and that's what kept him moving through the pain and going for all those hours. He also says he plans to hit the trail one day again.